a big fight as far as the stage goes, but, you know, Pacquiao's a little fighter, you know, so it's a big fight against a little guy, you know, I mean, it's a little different, you know, um, you know, the, the, the reach, you know, and, he, and he's a veteran, you know, I've dismantled veterans in the past. I've... Trash talk is a form of insult usually found in sports events, and the main reason is to demoralize, intimidate, or humiliate someone, although it is not exclusive to sports or similarly characterized events. Some fighters in the UFC are known for using this tactic, like Conor McGregor, Chael Sonnen, and Colby Covington. But do you know that it was commonly used by the heavyweight boxing champion Muhammad Ali in the 1960s and 70s? And in 1963, Ali even released a popular full-length record album consisting largely of trash talk poetry. It was entitled I Am The Greatest, a phrase that became his signature line. So in this video, I will show you some fighters who handle their trash talker opponent calmly and teach them lessons the hard way. First on the line is a fight between George Masvidal vs Ben Askren in UFC 239, the 7th of July, 2019. In the weigh-ins, Ben insulted Masvidal saying the muscle was big, but the face was very ugly, and he added that he would dominate him totally. Give us your thoughts on Jorge as an opponent, and what tomorrow night means to you. His muscles aren't very big and his beard's pretty ugly, but besides that, I think it's gonna be total domination. And this is how Masvidal responded, a flying knee that put him asleep in just 5 seconds in the opening round. And the next one is the fight between Kamaru Usman and the Lebron Jeans fan Colby Covington, in UFC 245 main event. Like I've said earlier Covington was known for his trash talking tactics, and during the press conference, Colby started humiliating Usman saying no one cares about him and he is a boring fighter that can't make a high pay per view. That was a fight for dear life because he was no about to die about you. in there. Scamaru, no one cares about you, you're a junior. Oh really? You can holler me backstage after this, too. And this is Kamaru Osman's quick responses. Covington sustained a nasty broken jaw in his fifth round defeat in UFC 245. Usman landed a devastating shot in the third round to crack Covington's jaw and the scan reveals the full extent of his nully injury. And the next one is between Justin Geethj vs Michael Johnson in UFC Tough Finale Main Event. The fight happened on the 8th of July, 2017. In the press conference, the two fighters having a bad conversation, and Michael Johnson threatened Justin that in a fight he is not planning to win via decisions or by point, instead, he is going to take this man's life, and also added that, if he is not ready to die don't show up. I'm not trying to beat him. I'm not trying to win by a decision or a point. I'm literally going to try to take this man's life. And if yes, you're not, I and want if, to die. And if, and if you're not ready, and if you're not ready to die, don't show I up. I am ready I'm to die. Right man. now, the shit that's breaking right my mind, breaking you in a piece by night, piece, boy. artistically breaking you. I even Michael didn't stop and still saying bad things to Justin even when they're in the lobby. Justin Geethj's response is a knockout victory in round two. The next one is a fight between Cody Garbrandt against TJ Dillashaw in UFC 227 main card, on the 5th of August, 2018. What did you expect for fighters having their rematch? It's a grudge match cause both fighters have unfinished business. Dillashaw defeated Garbrandt via TKO in November 2017. So expect some heated words in their press conference. Harden. That's fine, that's fine. You had to get help to your corner on the first round, so hey, it's good. Oh, we went running back, we him, match, August 4th. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. That's, it. that's why we're doing it again. Yeah, yeah. You went to the, the media and said, game, I would right? have a long road back to you because well, you what? feared if me. If my aunt had you a say, I had a long road back because you feared me. You okay, went down yeah. to fight the meat. 
Demetrius because you knew what was going to come. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, then. Yeah, exactly. Well, fucking idiot. Then do something about it. You little bitch. Do. I already have, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Okay, dropped your ass. That's for sure. Face down, ass, ass up, ass up for more. I dropped your ass. I came off the couch. Yeah. I came off the couch and dropped yeah. your ass. Oh, yeah. What are you talking the couch. about? All right, bitch. That's yeah. why you had to. 11 months inactive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah because you just did. <laughs> TJ Dillashaw did it for the second time and finished Cody in the first round via TKO. And last but not least this fight is between Israel the style bender Adesanya versus Paulo Costa of Brazil. The exciting factor for this match is they're both undefeated. Adesanya was 19 and 0 while Costa is 13 and 0. Paulo Costa said Adesanya is the most unrespected guy, the most shameful champion in the UFC. He is nothing and doesn't deserve to talk in the UFC. He also added that he will make Adesanya cry. He will hit him badly and cry like a baby. Adesanya is nothing. Adesanya is the most shameful champion I have seen ever. He just run. He's nothing. He's nothing. He's scared. You know. I think he he don't deserve talk about him. <laughs> but uh, was a a shit. That fight was a shit. I will make him cry. I will hit him, hit him very badly, and he will cry like a baby. But Israel Adesanya remained his composure and proceed to his plan and in the fight he knock out Paolo Costa in the most embarrassing way. After the fight, when Paolo learns what happened inside the octagon, he gives his statement on social media and asking a About rematch. Did he deserve a rematch? Comment your suggestions did. down below. The human trash did after a fight. I didn't see when I was there on the cage, but I saw now. I disapprove 100%. And to me, this is mortal now. Nobody will stop me. Nobody can stop me. I am on hot of collision with you, Edison. I want my rematch. And you know. And you know I'm waiting for you. Something happened before the fight. I'm not excused here to my, my people, my fans. But I will be 100% to fight him. And to make him pay. That's my words. Save my words. Well, that's all for your MMA action. If you like it, kindly hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching. See you in my next video.